All right, here's 3434 Bell Ridge. We're in a, um, the reason I'm coming up from starting from the outside is it looks like this is in a cul-de-sac. It's a very nice cul-de-sac. Um, it's got a much larger driveway pad than any of the other homes in the neighborhood, which is nice. Looks like there's some families riding their little, so you see the cul-de-sac out here. Um, you walk in, it's a very open, very open floor plan. It's a 2002 house, so it needs to be updated and we'll go over that as we walk through. This looks like an office area off to your left with two French doors that open, which would be nice to have in the summer. Uh, then you got your dining room on the other side. It's a formal dining with a tray ceiling. Then you walk in here. Also, there's no lighting because it's been winterized, so we're not going to see a lot. But this is not. This is a full bath down here and a bedroom, which is nice because it's a, to have a bedroom on the main level for resale purposes is nice. It's not the master, but it's nice to have one on the main level. Then you're going to walk in here, you're going to see a huge, open, very open floor plan. I mean, extremely huge, you know, 20 foot ceiling, big chandelier, um, and then you see span here, just an open into the better, into the kitchen. Kitchen's massive, uh, very nice kitchen. Um, you know, looks like it's well done, well maintained, probably don't need to do a whole lot of upgrading in here. It's a little desk area. You'll see uh, come right in here. Then you have about you have a door to the outside, which you probably put a grill out here. It's the only it's in the negative is there's no real backyard back here. There's no real backyard, but so we walk. You got the, there's no refrigerator. Um, you have your washer dryer down here on the main level. It's a washer dryer room. See, it's got a nice little space here. It's going to be your garage. Two car garage. You walk through here. It's like a little wet bar. It's right here off the dining room because we're right off the dining room here. So, it's kind of like a little wet bar. And then we'll go up the steps. To the master here, um, that's just a little closet right there. This is getting the master. You have the two French doors. A little. This is kind of nice in the master. It's a little wet bar for your master bedroom. Um, nice windows on the wall. Uh, it's one tray ceiling. It's a good size. Um, the bathroom is huge. It needs to be renovated. But the important thing is that at least it's this big. I mean, there's definitely some room to work with. The biggest thing is when you have a bathroom that's too small, you can't renovate it. But this is a monstrous bathroom. Uh, very, very big and open. Um, tub and shower need to be redone a little bit, but they're workable. And then you're not going to be able to see in here because it's dark, but to the left is his side. To the left, to the right is her side. It's two big closets on either side, so it's nice. His and her closet. We'll walk back out here, and then the rest of the house is just these, uh, you know, here's a little nook. It looks like a light. You can put like, a picture there. It's nice, nice bedroom size. This actually has a bathroom, full bathroom connected to it. Not, They're not sharing. And you can see here, I'm walking in the upstairs hallway. You can see over on both sides. Um, this is another good size secondary bedroom with its own bathroom. Um... And a, another. So it looks like I'm one, two, three, three, four, four bedrooms that are five bedrooms, five bathroom house, um, which is pretty significant to find to have five full bathrooms. You have four, three secondary bedrooms upstairs and three full baths. Then you have the master bedroom and bath. Then downstairs you have a full bedroom and a bath. This is a five bedroom, five bath house, which is a big positive. Another positive is. The cul-de-sac that you're located in, the parking pad, uh, looks like a very nice neighborhood. Um, I would say the negatives are, for you guys, no basement. I know y'all wanted a basement. Um, also, uh, there's no backyard. That's really the only two negatives I could find is the backyard. You know, you can put hardwoods in, this, in the living room here. Uh, the backyard, there's no backyard, but for resale purposes, the neighborhood's really great. Um, and there's definitely some areas of improvement in the house that you could, you know, make it look nicer. Um, also, it was just listed, so it's a 354, um, which we would try to get them to go down on. Um, but they, they just listed, so it's a foreclosure. 
Um, we have to be pretty aggressive but to get them down to that 270, 275. But that's probably where it needs to sell at. Um, but uh, that's it.